Hey guys, Raphael here from XX Raphael Productions and I'm going to be teaching you how to build your Unity project for Xcode. First of all, you want to make sure Xcode has been installed. So at the time of recording this video, I have Xcode version 10.1. So you just want to make sure at least a version of Xcode has been installed onto your Mac. And I'm going to be teaching you how to build um, basically whatever Unity game you made I'm gonna teach you how to put it into Xcode so that you can submit it into the App Store eventually later on so um, let's demonstrate what I made here it's simply a um, well simply a Flappy Bird game that I created in my spare time so obviously this will work for every um, Basically, this will work for any um, type of app you created, whether it's a different type of game, or 3D game, or 2D game. It doesn't really matter. You can still follow this tutorial as I um, show it. But you will need to know that this is actually meant to be a portrait game, so I will um, pay close attention to that once I get into Xcode. But to start off, let's go over to File. So if you're on a Mac, it's going to be on the very top, right next to Unity. So go to File and go to Build Settings. And you want to make sure your platform is set to iOS. You can tell if it is set to iOS by seeing that Unity um, symbol. I'm, I hope you can see my mouse. It's circling around that Unity symbol right now. By default, it will most likely be PC, Mac, and um, Linux standalone. So to change that, simply click on iOS and click Switch Platform. Now, my Switch platform has been grayed out because it has already been set to iOS. But if I were to like go back to PC, Mac, and the Linux, the default, it will not be grayed out because I have not yet set it to that. So, if it's already set to iOS, simply skip that step. And you also want to have run in Xcode and set that um, to the latest version. Alright, so before we build, let me let me first um, take you to the bundle identifier to do that we're just gonna head over to um, edit project settings and we're going to click on uh, player make sure you're clicking this tab which it looks like an iPhone it should say iPhone iPod touch and iPad settings once you have your mouse over it Kind of scroll down to identification and look for the bundle identifier. My mouse is actually right over the text, just so you guys can see it. This has to um, match once you submit this in iTunes Connect, or else if the bundle IDs are different, it can create errors because you might have to change something in the Xcode project, which we don't want. So that's the bundle identifier. You don't really have to check it actually. You can actually check it right once you build an Xcode. But if you want to see the bundle identifier earlier before you build it to Xcode, that's simply how you do it. Just go to edit, player, up oh, project settings, then player. And then you should see that screen pop up. Okay, so that's how you see it in Unity. Now to actually build it to the Xcode, we're gonna go back to file build settings so the window that we had earlier the one where we changed our platform to iOS the same window now instead we're going to click on build now make sure Xcode has been installed before um, you do this or else it will not work I um, preferably recommend the latest Xcode version well at the time of recording mine was 10.1 but anyway let's click build and now it will bring this window up and we can save our build in a different folder so this is where I save my unity project so I save it in a folder called unity workspace now our project well my project is called flappy bird style game so I'm gonna click simply click on it and then I'm gonna make a new folder and that's going to be uh, Xcode builds I really recommend having a specific folder for Xcode builds so that it doesn't get messy like if you save it around like the directory it's not gonna it might just be like everywhere and you will have a hard time finding it so I mean there is no problem with doing that but it's 
much more convenient when you do it this way. So I simply build an Xcode um, builds. So I made a folder and I'm going to name this iOS 1. So iOS 1, which, are, which will represent the first build. So simply click on save and if this will take a while depending on how big your project is. So you should get the screen um, that is basically Unity, Unity doing its job. So I will be right back once this is finished. Okay, and once it's been finished, if you're on a Mac, you should get an alert on the top right that says build succeeded. And it should also automatically open up the directory. So mine, in my case, it was Xcode builds. And it should open up to where um, you saved your project. So in that case, I named mine as iOS 1. So I'll simply click on the folder. And now this is where you have to have Xcode. So on the unity iphone dot Xcode Proj, so this file extension that says Xcode Proj, simply double click on it and that should load up Xcode. Like what it's doing, doing right now. Also want to make sure um, your account has been linked. So go to Xcode um, Preferences. And right now my Apple ID has already been added so I don't have to um, do this step but if you haven't already added it simply click the plus symbol on the bottom and follow what steps it gives you so I can simply skip that because it hasn't I mean I can skip that because that step has already been um, done like a week ago I mean I added my account a week ago and it's been there ever since um, obviously if you haven't done it yet simply do that right now I'll wait for Xcode to finish processing files. You can see what it's doing on the top where this um, kind of bar, this kind of blue bar is going, filling up the screen. And now I mentioned earlier that our Unity project, so let me close this window. I mentioned our Unity project was portrait. So, I mean, don't don't mind about the canvas right now. It's It says landscape, but it's actually meant to be portrait but um in Xcode right now if you were to go to the um so let's click the top left corner if you were to go to our device orientation it says portrait so in my case that is good however if you are trying to make a game that is for landscape you will obviously want to tick landscape left and landscape right and untick portrait you also want to okay never mind you also want to um make sure that um upside down well if you're on portrait make sure upside down is ticked if you want your device to also be played while upside down portrait but um, simply choose which um, device orientation that your game is supposed to be in so in my case that was portrait so I can untick landscape left and landscape right because I don't um because I don't actually have a landscape project that I have in unity now on devices universal also go to iPad an iPhone just to make sure that none of these like are also ticked like on a different device because back in previous Xcode versions when you when you set a game to universal it only used to affect the iPhone but if you go to iPad usually all of these were ticked but I see in the latest update it doesn't Xcode doesn't seem to have that in the latest version so simply set that back to universal okay and if you want to build your um, game to uh, actual device now right now if you look at the the top um, left hand corner of my screen it says generic iOS device and it also says no devices connected to my Mac now what we want is um, an iOS device so like a physical device like an iPhone or an iPad iPod touch you know all those Apple products so you want to make sure that you can also test it on a real device to kind of get a feel of how your game is um how your game will work in a real device. So in order to, in order to do, to do that, you simply need to plug in a charger, you know, your charger co cord and um I'll show you what it is in a minute. To get that iPhone um recognized in Xcode, simply use your charger and plug in your iPhone and also connect that USB onto your um Mac. Right, once you've plugged in your phone, it should now be able to detect your device. So my, in my case, it says Raphael's iPhone. 
Okay, and that's how you build into Xcode. So thank you very much for watching, and I will leave more programming videos um, later on. I'll probably upload a guitar video next. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hit like and hit subscribe if this video helped you out.